Night gathers, and now my watch begins. It shall not end until my death. I shall wear no crowns and win no glory. I shall live and die at my post. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I pledge my life and honor to the night's watch for this night and all the nights to come. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Little Sis Reacts. I'm Tamaj, and today I'm here with Game of Thrones, Season 6, Episode 3, Oathbreaker. I just woke up a little bit ago. My dog is sleeping. She won't even eat lunch. Um, so, yeah, she's tired. She didn't want to react. But we're here. Um, Oathbreakers. Fuck. Who made an oath? The only oath recently was Brienne's to the Sands of Bashan breaking that. Um, Oathbreaker, no, that was the name of... Uh, Jamie's sword, right? Because didn't Brienne name hers Oath Keeper? Did he name his Oath Break? I can't remember. That was like season four. Anyway, um, yeah, we got Jon Snow back. Um, so that's a blessing. Um, Arya's going back to the Black and White House. Um, Sansa and Brienne, I don't know where they're going, but they're together. Theon's going back home. Um, we need to get fucking Danny. But they released her dragon, so that's good. Danny wasn't even in the last episode, so. We'll see. Bran is still in his same spot, but they said he'd be leaving soon. They're trying to teach him, because they've been saying this over and over, you can't war too much or you're going to drown it. Like, you're going to get stuck in there. You're not going to ever want to leave. So they're trying to teach him that. I don't think they're going to let him go until he understands that, um, because otherwise he's going to waste his life away in the war ground. So there's that. Um yeah, so I don't know what, what's next for the wall. I mean, other than the fact that Ramsey's about to attack. But I'm sure John's about to be pissed the fuck off. Like, y'all bitches just stabbed me. Like, I, I honestly hope he goes on a beheading spree. Like, keep only your loyal ones there. The ones that fought for you in the wildlings. Like, let's start fortifying the wall because we're wasting too much fucking time worried about, you know, fighting each other. Like, it, it's just stupid. Like... We need to prepare for the White Walker attack. Like, we have done nothing to prepare for that. Like, I don't know. We just got to do something. But get the, the, you know, the poison out of the way. And let's just have all the people that want to actually be here. Or at least send them away. Do something. We got to change the structure of the Night's Watch. Like, this shit is not working. Half these bitches can't fight. And, like, it's just stupid. So we got to fix this if this is ever going to be all it was meant to be you know what i'm saying like and I, we still never ever seen any of the other like how like castles that are on the wall like what the fuck did they be doing like didn't they say like at least two other like two other houses or not houses uh castles over there were manned like we don't never see them now never help like what's going on but anyway let's see what they got for, going on in westeros today full and other reactions are available on patreon <laughs> Oh, so we are going to the Dorothraki fuck place. Please rescue Danny, please. Danny, it is kind of far from Marine. Damn you, Drogon. And then you're gonna go to sleep. What are you looking at, John? Miracles do exist, Davos. Miracles do exist. I just hope he's himself. Remember what them bitches did to you. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, it's fucking cold. You booty butt naked. It worked. Your power is something unholy, but bless it. It saved John, even though it took Rob. Well, I guess I'll let that go. They stunned me. Them bitches. I want their heads. Fuck Ollie. You put a knife in my heart. I shouldn't be here. Why don't say things like that? The lady brought you back. Afterwards. After they stabbed you, after you died, where did you go? What did you see? Ma'am, I don't know. I was tired. He went to the pearly gate. Nothing. Oh. I don't think there they let nothing you. at all. I don't think the gods let you remember what you saw. If you're going back, then The Lord let you come back for a reason. Stannis was not the prince who was promised that someone has to be. Do you think it's John? Bastard of Winterfell. 
Though I don't believe in the whole bastard shit because that shit don't make no sense. These people didn't ask to be born. Whole ass grown folks made decisions and the bastards don't pay for it. Bullshit. No, you're not. That's completely fucking mad, seems to me. True. For as dark as this show is, I'm, I'm surprised they gave me a character back. I really am. I did what I thought was right. You, it was fucking right. Fuck them bitches. And I got murdered for it. Now I'm back. Why? I don't know. Because you didn't deserve that shit. Know. What does it matter? It matters because the bitches stabbed me. I don't want to get stabbed up again. You fight for as long as you can. You clean up as much of the shit as you can. I don't know how to do that. Kill them bitches. That's, that's how you do it. Behead them. Eddard Stark wouldn't have had it. I failed. Good. What? Now go fail again. Yeah, because if, if that's what you call failure, then keep on failing then. I hate to see you succeed. I can't wait to see their faces. Mm-hmm. You thought you got me, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't even know how this is possible. Uh-huh. I hope you remember each and every one of their faces. Line them up. They think you're some kind of god. Oh, the yes. man returned from the dead. I'm not a god. I know that. <laughs> I saw your pecker. Uh, what kind of god would have a pecker that small? The disrespect. I would have never seen this coming two seasons ago. This is kind of crazy. Tormund and Jon Snow, because I hated his guts. I wanted him to throw Tormund off the wall. <clears throat> My guy. I don't know your fucking name, but respect to you. Because he did the damn thing in the Wildlands. What's his name? Your eyes are still brown. Is that still you in there? I don't think so. Hold off, I'm burning my body for now. I, I want to see some beheading. I want blood. Season one me would have never said nothing like that, but this is season six me. I want fucking retribution. Time. We can't just keep letting these fuckers live after they do this heinous shit. I got Bolton, Cersei, not Cersei, Tywin, and Joffrey. I think Cersei gonna get hurt by the end, but they, she gonna survive until the very end, I bet. They ain't gonna kill all the bad people. We gotta get Ramsey this season called the sea because it was nothing but water as far as the eye can see. I'm glad so. Sam didn't have to go sea. through John's death. Sea. That would have been horrible. They're so different but they sound the same. They do. It was before I learned how to read, obviously. I went on a boat once. <laughs> I didn't do that. But I did get it was like a cruise. It was real wavy. I did kind of get motion sickness for a second. That was pretty good. The Citadel doesn't have knit women. There won't be a place for you there, half a little Sam. I'll stay in old town then. By yourself? With a baby and no money? If we're not going to old town, where are you taking me? To my home. Horn Hill. My father's... Well, my father, but my mother's a kind woman and my sister's lovely. Good. They'll take care of you both. Wherever we get to see Sam's go, people, I'm here for it. That's what you said. Fuck his father though. I can tell he's already an asshole. Who would send Sam to the wall? He's just the kindest gentleman you could ever meet. If you think it's for the best, we trust you. I love them. They are literally <laughs> the most purest thing on this show. Like, you know what I mean? Like, not hardened or changed by the world. They remained who they are despite all the trauma they went through. And they just want what's best for each other. I love them. Protect them at all costs. Them two and Brienne, I think, are just the most purest things. I swear. Maybe little Toman, but he... Yeah, I, don't, I don't see him lasting too long. He's getting a little hardened, so... That's a Targaryen emblem. Oh, we're, oh we got a flashback. Father. The man beside him is Howland Reed, Mira's father. Oh, yeah, he got the Ned Stark hair. 
I low-key always wanted the flashback, so we're just like another spin day. off with the sword the of the Robert's Rebellion. Father said he was the best swordsman he ever saw. Lord Stark? I looked for you on the Trident. And we weren't there. Your friend, the usurper, would lie beneath the ground if we had been. The Mad King is dead. Rhaegar lies beneath the ground. Why weren't you there to protect your prince? Our prince wanted us here. Daenerys and Viserys? Where's my sister? I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. I'm confused. Wasn't she dead at this point? Wasn't that the point of the war? And now it begins. No. Now it ends. I like the fact that he's doing real things. Jesus fuck. We never got to see much of Ned fighting. Cause he had got injured. Damn. They made me want to fight. I like the dual wielding. Not many people do that here. Yeah, this guy's a beast. Oh my God. The neck me. way down to the 1v1. What's in the tower? That's enough for one day. We we'll visit again another time. His sister. Oh, he's going. Time to go. Leanna. Father. He said, because he said, he came and he said, where's my sister? But she's supposed to be dead. So then if he lied about how this fight went down or whatever, and the fact that she's still alive, what else did they really lie about? What else are they covering up? This is an interesting, an interesting way to tell the story, but why is he why telling Bran? Why did you Brandon? do this? Take me back there, I want to go back. No. He heard me. Maybe, maybe he heard the wind. He heard me. The past is already written, the ink is dry. What's in that tower? I want to go back there. I've told you many times, stay too long where you don't belong. So we were there five I minutes. Return. Why do I want to return? So I can be a cripple again? So I can talk to an old man in a tree. You think I wanted to sit here for a thousand years watching the world from a distance as the roots grew through me? So why did you? I was waiting for you. I don't want to be you. No, I wouldn't either. I don't blame. You won't be here forever. You won't be an old man in a tree. But before you leave, you must learn. Learn what? Like I said, how to walk right. Everything. So what really happened in the past? Because, again, stories can be manipulated. So clearly, some form of the story was manipulated. Because if Mad King is dead, that means the war is over. Leanna was supposed to have been dead. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, they'll be taking 
everything from Danny. I mean, even down to her clothes and her necklace. Kichi ni yeri akeji. Ane chori kim kali vishvena. Kichi shila kiyera. Ane havena serak meyera daksha resleshon. Androgo trivo. Man ha enda neres vazion. A hage a samvak. Kali si mere ni mama javorsi. Vais ane vos jine mashato. Kichere kumun kali vishvena. Ane ha shere kumun kali vishvena. Khasavo. Come on, give me a break. I'm tired. Well, bitch, you better hope because if y'all start hurting her, her dragons will sense it and they're all fucking free and they will burn y'all motherfuckers down. I don't know how y'all know that, comprehend that. Better. Who's also fucking primitive? You look lovely today, my dear. You really do. How are you climbed all those steps without breaking a sweat? If you're going to torture me, just call them back and get on with it. I am not a torturer. Though it so often is what people deserve. And it does provide answers. But they're usually the wrong answers. My job is to find the right answers. Right. Do you know how I do that? I do it by making people happy. I'd like to make you happy, Vala. That's your name, isn't it? Vala. <laughs> That's, That's all right. Spies, no, I know them. who you are and what you've done. You've done a lot. You've sacrificed your body for a cause, which is more than most people do. And you've helped the sons of the harpy murder the unsullied and the second sons. The unsullied and the second sons are foreign soldiers brought here by a foreign queen to destroy our city and our history. I understand. Well, that makes perfect sense from your perspective. Right. I have a different perspective, of course. I think it's important that you try to see things from my perspective, just as I will try to see them from yours. Because that is the only way that I can make you and Dom happy. Who the fuck is Dom? That is how you pronounce it. Dom. I'm afraid I don't really speak the language. Very so is good. Those big brown eyes, good luck keeping the ladies away. You're a true liberator, aren't you? You won't torture me, you'll just threaten my son. Children are blameless. I have never hurt them. Your boy is in no immediate danger. This, I swear to no you. No immediate, but could be but in between us, day. dear, you did conspire to kill the Queen's soldiers. We both know the penalty for that crime. Varies. I like How it. poor Dom get on without his mother? And with his breathing problem? I tell you anything, they'll kill me. So either you kill me or they do. From your perspective, this is a problem. But it's important you see it there from my perspective. Option, no? The ship this is leaving with words. tomorrow, the Pentos. I've already booked passage for a woman and her young son. I'll even throw in a bag of silver to help you start again. Though I'm afraid we'll have to ask one of our leather-clad friends back in to carry it. Far too heavy for me. The boat sails at dawn. You need to decide now. Oh, she spilled all the tea. Varys is good. Varys and Tyrion being here is like the best fucking thing. If only D Danny was here to, you know. What should we do while we wait? They got her doing the some crazy thing. shit. What should we do? What should we talk about? You speak 19 languages? You must occasionally use some of them to talk about things. <laughs> You two, you spend a great deal of time together. What would you be talking about if I were They are not talkers. Patrol, when I am going on patrol with the Ansalit, what we see on patrol, what we capture on patrol. That's good, that's very good. They don't have any social lives. But that's a report. I was thinking more of conversation. A wise man once said, the true history of the world is a history of great conversations in elegant rooms. Who said this? Me. <laughs> Just now. They didn't find it very funny, right. but I did. No conversations. Let's play a game. 
Lay like an inch out. Like, what you don't play games? Either one of you ever? Games are for children. My master Krasnitz would sometimes make us play games. Nah, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> not those kind of games. Oh, no, no, no. Not that. Of course not that. <sighs> Innocent games. Fun games. Drinking games. We I like drinking drink. games. I have tons of them. You no drinking. We can play with that drinking. Here's how it works. I make a statement about your Oh class. my god, if he played this with Shay and Braun. And if I'm right, maybe we can't play without drinking. <laughs> oh, you took your time. Sorry. I was busy learning who funds the Sons of the Harpy, some things you can't rush. You found out? The good masters of Astapor and the wise masters of Yonkai, with help from their friends in Volantis. You see, you don't even have to worry about the local rebellion. We only have to worry about the three rich foreign cities paying for it. You conquered us the board in Yonkai once, you do it again and execute the masters. If the unsullied march off to reconquer us the board in Yonkai, they will remain to here. defend the free people of Marie. If you do not fight them, how can we stop them? We cannot. The masters speak only one language. If we want them to hear us, we must speak it back to them. May it be the last thing they ever hear. You may be right. So we will fight them? Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. It's a conversation. Can the little birds get a message to the good masters of Astapor, the wise masters of Yonkai, the benevolent enslavers of Volantis? Of course. Men can be fickle, but birds I always trust. But he's right. We can't just go and leave and fight because then we're just going to get attacked. Your mind looks much better, Arthur. How's your mother's jaw? That's all. Your father. Uh, I don't need y'all going to the no alchemist. No one's seen him. And no one will. He'd be doing crazy shit. It worked out rather nicely. Will Lord Ferris ever come back? Oh, I don't think so. so. <laughs> you miss him? He was nice. He called us his little birds. Ah! Uh, he gave us sweets. Because y'all spies, kids tell everything. Funny you should mention that. They talk too damn much. Guess what I happen to find today? Handed plums and all. Candy pumps and going. No, that's poison. Now remember, if any of your friends like sweets or need help, they can always come to me. All I need in return are whispers. No need to be afraid. No, very need to be afraid. He's friends with all my friends. Your little birds and I are great. What did you do to him exactly? I haven't been able to get a clear answer. Oh, well, a number of things. Does he understand what we're saying? I mean, to the extent that he ever understood complete sentences in the first place. Don't push it. He understands well enough. So tell him to march into the sept and crush the High Sparrow's head like a melon. When, I mean... The High Sparrow has hundreds of faith merchants surrounding him. So Gregor can't face them all. And he won't have to. He'll only have to face one. That's the faith level official charges you. Not yet. That's just one trial by combat I look forward to watching. Let's stop at the city. I want little birds in dawn, in a high garden, in the north. If someone is planning on making our losses their gains, I want to hear it. If someone is laughing at the queen who walked naked through the streets covered in shit, I want to hear. I told you she about to burn the fucking world. I want to know where they are. Listen. Cersei is not playing. Y'all pissed her teeth. Fuck off. I told him all what he's done to Gregor Clegane. It's an abomination. So the alchemist we never sanctioned this, this experiment. And I, for one, think it would be in our best interest to have the beast destroyed. <laughs> Awkward. Can I help you? Not the fart. My mother. I was oh invited by you to help deal with several <laughs> troublesome issues, such as the Queen's imprisonment. Thank you for bringing it up. It's well past time we address the abuses I endured. Marjorie is the Queen. You are not the Queen because you're not married to the King. I do appreciate Elena, these things. I love you, but confusing please. In your allow, this is new, Cersei. This is a small council meeting. You have no position. On the small council and the Lord Command of the King's Guard. The Lord Command of the King's Guard does have a position on the small council. Oh, Maester Pycelle, would you sanction that statement? Well, uh, 
I would say Sir Gerald Hightower had a seat on the Mad King's Council, it was different to you. Jamie said I'm sitting the fuck what here. What about Marcella's death, do, about it. do you consider the murder of your own blood a troublesome issue? The same women who murdered Marcella have overthrown House Martell and taken control of Dawn. We've got a lot to discuss, all of us, together. There's a lot going on. Seeing as you cannot make us leave, we best get on with it. No, we cannot make you leave. And you cannot make us stay. Not unless you're going to have that thing murder us all. Oh, solidarity, I guess. Look, he trying to take his old ass on, even though he faking it. So where do y'all go from here? They ain't making it easy on them, is they? Tell me, what you finna do? You need more men than this. Of course. My mother would like to see her daughter's final resting place. Oh, I'm sorry, Your Grace. That's not possible. Not yet. When will it be possible? When she's fully atoned for her sins. You cut off her hair and marched her naked through the streets in front of the whole city. That wasn't a full atonement. No. She must stand trial before seven septums. I want you to let her see Marcella's resting place. I am the king. You are. What does that mean to you? It means a great deal to me. The crown and the faith are the twin pillars of the world. There's a great deal of falsehood in Circe, you know that. But when she speaks of you, the mother's love outshines it all. Her love for you is more real than anything else in this world. Because it doesn't come from this world. You know that. You felt it. You've seen her when she talks to you. Yes. It's a great gift. One I never had. Envy, one more thing for me to atone for. When your mother made her walk of atonement, she did it to get back to you. I still don't understand why you want to put her through any more than she's already endured. It's not what I want. It's what the gods want. So you keep saying. They make their will known to us, and it's up to us to either accept or reject it. He keeps getting you closer and closer. I don't know about this. If we're to be just and good, then we accept it, all of us. Even kings. A true leader avails himself of the wisest counsel he can. And no one is wiser than the gods. Tell me it ain't gonna last. Oh, we do get some Aria. Who are you? No one. <laughs> Who were you before you came here? Are you stuck? <laughs> Tell me about Arya Stark's family. The father was Eddard Stark. Her mother was Catelyn Stark. She had one sister, Sansa, and four brothers. <laughs> John don't count. Why a buffer right here? Now how they just be knowing shit? Three brothers. Rob, Bran, Rickon. <laughs> And a half brother, John. And where are they now? They may be dead for all the girl knows. Tell me about the hound. <coughs> also dead. Even better. <coughs> At least she's I learning to hone her skills at the very least. He was not on her list anymore. She'd be lying. <laughs> she'd taken him off it. Why? Didn't she want him dead any longer? She did, and she did not. She sounds confused. Yes, she was. Who else was on Arya Stark's funny little list? <coughs> Cersei Lannister. <coughs> Gregor Clegane. Walter Frey. Are you sure you're not forgetting someone? Which name would you like a girl to speak? You like hers, the wolf? Because she probably definitely didn't want to kill her. <laughs> There we go. A girl knows how to fight, bitch. A girl has had a goddamn enough. A girl is ready to kick some motherfucking ass. A girl is ready for her goddamn eyes back. If a girl tells me her name, I will give her eyes back. A girl is no one. A girl has no name. Come. Uh-uh. 
because uh-uh but you know what it probably won't kill her because y'all got some magic voodoo shit going on we were doing great today all of a sudden now it's just buffering to all hell this should give her her eyes back if the girl is truly no one she has nothing to fear well worst case you have a painless death again thank fucking god who are you no one motherfucker i know no one i wonder what their plans are for her character i mean she can't assassinate who she want to assassinate she has to be no one so what they gonna have her do for Young the rest of the series famously loyal house can i get a break loyal to the can i please get a break from you no castock your people share blood with the starks don't they but here we are. Times change. Why have you come to Winterfell, Lord Umber? The bastard Jon Snow led an army of wildlings past the wall. Wildlings come down. We always have to fight them first. I like fighting wildlings. Been doing it all my life. But there are too many of them for us to be back alone. So now you've come seeking help. We need to help each other. The colder it gets, the farther south those gold fuckers will roam. Won't take them long to get here. You think a horde of wildlings can take Winterfell? If they get Jon Snow leading them, maybe. He knows his place better than we ever will. Pledge your banners to House Bolton. Swear loyalty to me as Warden of the North. And we will fight together to destroy the bastard and all his wildling friends. I'm not kissing your fucking hand. Traditionally, a banner man kneels before his lord. I'm not doing that either. Why would I trust a man who won't honor tradition? Your father, on the tradition, knelt for Rob Stark, called him King of the North. Was Rob Stark right to trust your father? Then it appears we're at a bit of an impasse. Fuck kneeling and fuck oaths. I told you I was. a gift for you. Everybody stops, starts, you know, not following the rules, then they just all a girl, I hope. I prefer redheads. A girl. Aye. <laughs> a wild <laughs> Asha? Don't tell me that's Rickon! I like you, I am the boy. Nice and young. How? We can't start like so. Oh, this is not how I saw them coming back! Bullshit! Bullshit! We ain't seen them in three seasons! And this is how you bring them back? Oh shit. <laughs> I know you fucking lying. What is that? Oh, his dire wolf. Oh my fucking god. Bruh. Every time Ramsey comes on the scene, some sick, twisted shit happens. Fucking hell. Fuck you. This is. Uh, there's no winning. There's no winning. There's no winning. It's time. The Starks are not destined to live. It's just sad. It's just sad. Yes! This is what this is all I wanted. If you have any last words, now is the time. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be alive. Bitch, you nice. shouldn't be alive. The fuck? Neither was killing me. I want to sue them in the White Harbor. Could you write it? Fuck her. And fuck Tell you. I fighting the Wildlings. I ain't telling a shit. You died a traitor, bitch. Next. Fuck you got to say, ho. Cause all oh, I've been waiting for you to die. <laughs> I had a choice, Lord Commander. Mm. Betray you or betray the Night's Watch. You brought an army of wildlings into our lands. Mm -hmm. You an can die stuck in your old ways. If I had to do it all over, knowing where I'd end up. You do it again. I pray I make the right choice again. We expect I'm nothing sure less from you. Mr. Melissa, yeah. I fought. I lost. As you should. You're trash. Now I rest. You always been trash. But you, Lord Snow, you'll be fighting their battles forever. See, that's the problem thinking in the old way. Like, y'all just want to fight, 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 fight when it just don't have to be that. Y'all want to do the same thing over and over and over for generations. That shit is stupid. New generation got to make change. Ooh. What you got to say? Mm -hmm. You better cut the damn rope. Cut the rope, Jon Snow. You gotta do it. The man who carries out the sentence must, whatever the fuck man said, cut it. 
And it's only because of Ollie who's hesitating. Retribution. Mm -hmm. Death to all my enemies. I only get one every once in a while, so I gotta savor it. Thumbnail. She burned the bodies. Mm hmm. And now their watch has ended. <laughs> Wait a minute. What do you want me to do with this? Wear it, burn it. Whatever you want, you have castle blood. No! My watch is ended. watch has ended you know what good for fucking him good for fucking him fuck that place i mean he want i mean first of all he was never sent there he volunteered to go to that place with the thought of being part of something bigger you know and being an honorable men of the night's watch they weren't fucking that they were most of them were fucking trash 90 percent of them were fucking garbage i'm talking about dumpster fire trash the most dishonorable worst of the worst people with no thought of growing or becoming a better person or you know making change in the world they sat on their asses and did nothing like nothing half of these bitches couldn't fight all they wanted to do well the higher ups anyway other than maybe the um the targaryen maester they, Mr. Amen, they all want to just keep fighting fucking wildlings and defend the wall as if that's actually doing something. Instead of actually trying to make peace with our enemies out there, knowing there's a greater enemy out there. Like, y'all are dumb as fuck. Like, y'all were going to get everybody killed in the long run, really. Because the little bit of y'all that was left couldn't hold anything. Y'all don't communicate with the rest of the fucking world, so they don't even know what's coming. They wouldn't have known what's coming until it was right on top of them. So the White Walkers would eventually just come, wipe out the Night's Watch, and then kill everybody before they even knew what the fuck was happening. John made a big step. He ended the war between the, you know, the Night's Watch, the Realm, and the Wildlings. That is a big fucking thing. That is a lot of death you just stopped. No more of those senseless ass battles that are getting both sides killed. Why when we can combine our forces? Like, I don't understand the ideology of wanting to keep fighting. It's the same thing with the Walking Dead and the Saviors. Like, what what point do I want to be mad at all the Saviors that, you know, gave in and joined the group? Like, why would I be mad at them? The, the war is done. Y'all leader is done. We can move on. It's generally just about the leaders. Like, the leaders and the, the, you know, the old heads who are stuck in their ways are always the issue. Once you get rid of them, the rest of y'all don't have to follow that. Because most of them rule through fear. You know what I'm saying? And they usually have, like, their right-hand mans or their left-hand mans who will carry out that. But you got to take them out, too. After that, why? Why are we fighting? There's no need for it. I understand now, like, I can understand, like, certain things happening to people, like, certain heinous crimes happening to, like, your family and stuff, and you have a reason for hating them. I'm not saying those are not valid or just. I understand that. And, like, I'm not even mad in comparison with The Walking Dead, like, how Oceanside took out the certain ones that did certain things to their people. Like, Arat, they killed her because they killed all the boys and stuff. And, like, they made a point to it. Like, I understand. I can even let that go if you want to kill a certain wildling for a specific heinous thing they did. But, like, to want, for, like, that little reason, that's not a little reason, but for that reason, being your justification to continue generations of war is just stupid. So, John ended that shit, and y'all wanted to kill him for it? Dumb as fuck. Dumb as fuck. It, it's just stupid. But that's all out the way now. The four are fucking dead. And, but John just quit. So, if he wants to quit... Good for fucking you. The problem is people are after him. <laughs> um, folks are coming for the wall, for John. And uh, Sansa was coming here for John. He's not going to be here. And Ramsey's on his way. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I hope John's up to current events on like what the fuck's going on in the world. Because where the fuck is he going? I don't know what's going to happen with that. Show never fails to surprise me. 
Rickon is now in the hands of a fucking madman. Him and Asha don't know how that happened. She said she was going to be safe in whatever town she was in. She was, wasn't it Old Town? They were supposed to be safe there. But I guess it's probably a place in the northern since some of the northerners, well, one, there were so many mistakes from the past that are coming to bite them in the ass. The main one right now being like the car shark, because they were a big part of Rob's numbers. He killed their leader because their leader betrayed him, which it, it needed to be done because you can't, if Rob was going to really solidify himself as a king, you can't, you can't allow that. But at the same time, that was such a detrimental mistake that got him killed, like, I guess he probably should have listened to Catelyn in the sense that they should have imprisoned the leader first for his treason. But mm, Ned taught them a different way. You know what I mean? They behead and they kill their traitors. That's what we've seen. That's what Ned does. But Catelyn tried to preach a different way. And a lot of people sleep on Cat. She was smart. I don't care what nobody said. I know people don't like her. And I dislike the fact that she disliked John and, you know, her reasoning for it. I can understand that. She's flawed. But she was pretty damn smart. Like, she was a good tactician. And Rob slept on her. He didn't listen to her until the end. And by that point, it was too late. Which, again, I still blame the Red Woman for partial part of her influence. That's something that they couldn't predict. There's just so many layers to this. Like, I could go on and on. But it, it's just like, some of the North feels betrayed by Rob. So those actions are biting them in the ass. And now they're supporting the Boltons. So that's going to be an issue. And now they want to take out Jon Snow for God knows what reason because he's Lord Commander because he got a little bit of power. They're so scared of fucking Jon who Jon ain't even fucking worried about them. He was at a point when he was like when his family first died, but like he's disconnected himself from that. Like he's been literally all 100% the wall on that shit. Now they didn't betray him and he's feeling some type where like I failed and I, I, you know, I had to do this, this and that. Like he's kind of broken, mainly for Ollie. He really did like that kid. Fuck that kid, but Jon really liked him. So that really hurt him to his core, and now he's done with all this shit. Um, but people are after him, so he's gonna have to come back at some point. I don't, I don't know if he just left Castle Black or if he just like, I don't know what, what's going on with him. We gotta see more, but uh, I don't know. There, some shit is gonna happen. I just fucking, I don't want him to leave and then Sansa come here and then Ramsey's on like that because the Night Watch can't win. Well, they, they might put up a fair fight with the Wildlings by their side, but fuck, I don't want her here. And then they're going to obviously use Rickon as a hostage, and that's just, it's just so bad. It's so bad. I'm going to still stick by my theory, though, that Theon's going to, and Yara are going to take over on the Iron Islands. They're going to come and help the wall if they're informed about what's about to go down. Um, I think Bran will play a part. Bran is learning about the past and basically the little bit of history that we did learn was not necessarily true like and i kind of figured that because there was the one episode way back where they were telling like they were talking about Rhaegar, and they was telling some different stories like everybody has a different perspective and varies brought that up it's like from your perspective this happened from my perspective it's this way like perspective is everything but then there's also blatant lies because i was told the end was fucking dead and that was the whole point of the robert's rebellion Apparently, she was in that fucking castle, and Ned knew. And the, the best Targaryen warrior was sent to guard her. So what the fuck is going on in that castle? Um, What else? There was, it was like, I guess there was a lot going on in this episode. It just felt like we were jumping so much that not enough... There wasn't enough progress in one area, but it's like... We did learn a, a, a good bit. They gave you a, a little bit of everybody. Um... Arya's becoming no one. Uh, I think she's about to become a full-fledged black and white assassin. But she has to do exactly what they say and work for them. So we'll just see how that works. But as long as she ain't getting fucking beat and she can have her eyes back. Because that shit was horrible to watch. Um, yeah. Uh, Cersei, yes, yeah, she's plotting to burn everybody down and then take Dorne. So I already knew all that was coming. But her small council is not having it. Tommen... I kind of worry about because he was really, he's really naive and he was really listening to what the faith militant person was saying. Um, so we'll just have to see. I'm still surprised the uh, High Garden is not marching over here yet to get their kids. Like, I mean, I get they don't want war, but 
Yeah, I'm going to be honest. It don't seem like Cersei and them got the numbers for this fight. Otherwise, they would have done something already. And the faith militant basically is recruiting all the poor. Because, I mean, y'all ignored them for so long and treated them like dirt. Like, again, if they're living in your area, your people should be semi-prosperous. They ain't got to be as rich as you, but they shouldn't be in rags. They should be eating. Their houses should be decent. Like, how you not taking care of your people? Your people not going to take care of you if you don't take care of them. You don't see no shit like that at Winterfell. Like, their people were loyal to them. Now you got the other houses who we got beef with now because of the war and shit. But it's just like, for the most part, at, at the time, their houses were loyal. Like, they, the whole North had originally rallied with Rob. Like, they had their shit solidified. But, like, down in the South, they don't really fuck with the kings and queens and shit. Like, that just goes to their leadership and what type of people they are. So, I don't know. We'll see where that goes. Everything's not going to go quite how I predict. I understand that. But I usually feel like I'm somewhat on the right track. Now, Danny. They got her about to do some shit because they said since she didn't turn herself into them right when Kyle died, not that she ever knew or was given the option to because nobody was listening to her and most of them were left. And this big ass horde, clear, I don't think they were all there, not that I remember anyway. Um, they talking about, oh, she got to answer to somebody and good luck. They may or may not let her live. Bullshit. Tyrion and Varys are doing a damn thing. They got to the root of the problem. They know who is behind the Sons of Harpies, but they have to coordinate how they want to deal with it. Right now, they're just sending a message. So that'll be interesting. Because they can't just solve everything with brute force. You know what I mean? Because sending your army only leads, leaves them open and vulnerable. So it's like, okay, how do we do this? So interested to see what they come up with because those two are very smart. Uh, but they had to be because they're not huge fighters. So it's like, if you're not a big fighter, you've got to think smart. You got to be a tactician. And that's what they are. So they're, they're thinking it through. I love the duo. I love that they actually can come over here and shine. I love that about that. Uh, their characters right now. Um, I'm trying to make sure I got everybody. Um, I think I just about covered everything. So overall, pretty good setup episode. I... I think why I'm, I don't know, I just want more. I, I feel I, I should just watch another episode, but I don't have, I definitely don't have time. But if I could, I would watch another episode because I just, it's, it, we're at a really interesting part of the story. Like this episode just set up a whole bunch of, sh of stuff. Like they kind of just teased a little bit of everything. We didn't get the full picture here and it's leaving me wanting more. But um, it, it was a good episode. I, I will say that much um but yeah i'm gonna close this out y'all thank you guys for watching of course i want to hear what you guys thought be sure to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys for more game of thrones and now his watch is ending.